artificial intelligence just got a whole lot smarter. You thought ChatGPT was disrupting the world? Well, you can now bid goodbye to ChatGPT and say hi to its BARP GPT-4. You must have already heard of GPT-4 by now. It was trending on Google search in less than 24 hours from launch. And why not? As ChatGPT is changing lives drastically, everyone wants to know what GPT-4 will bring into their lives. Sit tight and get ready for your mind to be blown as we decode GPT-4 for you in just a few minutes. Before we get into the whole chat GPT versus GPT-4 debate, let's understand what do we mean by GPT. GPT is Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is a large language model or a fancy computer program that has been trained on massive sets of data. It basically knows every significant thing that ever was written down in its training period. Both ChatGPT and GPT-4 were trained till September 2021. If you ask them about current affairs, they'll tell you that they can't browse the internet. How are ChatGPT and GPT-4 different? Their underlying software technology is different. First things first, the competition is not between ChatGPT and GPT-4. You see, ChatGPT is merely a chatbot running on GPT-3.5 technology. GPT-4 is a software update, an advanced version of the technology. How advanced, you ask? GPT-4 is better than its previous version, GPT-3.5, in three major areas. Creativity, visual input, and longer context. Let's dive deeper into each of these areas. GPT-4 is more creative than GPT-3.5. It can generate, edit, and iterate with users on creative tasks. So it can learn your writing style and generate content accordingly. Visual input has to be one of the best advancements with GPT-4. It can now accept an image of all ingredients you have in your kitchen and suggest recipes with those ingredients. Genius, right? GPT-4 is also capable of handling longer context. It can handle 25,000 words of text, so you can use it for document analysis, script writing, and whatnot. GPT-4 is also smarter than GPT-3.5. While GPT-3.5 ranked in the bottom 10%, in the US law examination, GPT-4 ranked in the top 10%. It is also more responsible. You could coax GPT-3.5 into giving you dangerous answers like how to create malware. GPT-4 has an 82% chance of ignoring inappropriate prompts. Also, it is 40% more factually correct. OpenAI has trained GPT-4 with the feedback of 50 experts, mostly in AI safety and security. But these fancy features don't come for free. GPT-4 is 14x more costly than GPT-3.5. So how can you get your hands on GPT-4? GPT-4 is premium. Not everyone gets to use it. You can use ChatGPT powered by GPT-4 if you subscribe to ChatGPT+. $20 per month, but even then, there's a cap of 100 messages every four hours. Don't worry, you don't have to subscribe to GPT-4 to really see its wonders. OpenAI has already partnered with a lot of companies to integrate GPT-4 into their products. Khan Academy is using GPT-4 tech to power its chatbot to help teachers teach better and students learn better. Duolingo has also integrated GPT-4 so users can better understand their mistakes and learn faster. Even Morgan Stanley is using GPT-4 to organize its huge content base. Feeling left out? Want to try it out yourself? Well, then you'll have to head off to Bing. Yes, the alternative to Google that we hardly ever use has integrated GPT-4. While it isn't available to the public just yet, you can join the waiting list. Our key takeaways, one, technology is advancing and it is advancing fast. GPT-4 was announced just four months after GPT-3.5. Our learning curve has to match the pace of rising technology. 
Two, AI is here to stay. Many thought AI could be just another trend like crypto or metaverse. But with GPT-4 integrating with so many apps and companies, AI will completely change the way we operate. Three, Google could be in trouble. So far, Google has been the king of search engines and one of the biggest innovators out there. But with Bing integrating GPT-4, more people could change their default search engine. Four, GPT-4 could change the way we behave. Yes, not just work, behave. With everything from blogs to code now at our fingertips, humans could become less creative, less innovative, less hardworking. We could become more dependent on technology. We may lose the biggest strength of the human brain, our thinking ability, our creativity. AI, like any tech, is a tool. The tool in itself is neither good nor bad. Only the way we humans use it defines the good and bad. What are your thoughts on GPT-4? Let us know in the comments. See you in the next episode. Jai Hind!